Okay, so I'm sorry I don't have my pajamas on. And what we're going to do now is we're just going to start another song. And I'm trying to pick songs that no matter what the generation gap is, whoever is watching the videos, that it's something maybe everybody knows and it's, it's easy to play. So I chose um, the Beatles' Let It Be. And I'm going to start it on guitar because I figure there's more guitar players out there. And we'll start with a really cool uh, guitar plug-in or a couple guitar plug-ins and kind of show you how you can have really great guitar sounds. And not I'm just not, I'm not a session player. I'm not a great guitar player by any means. But when you put a plug-in on... I'm pretty good. <laughs> they make you sound good. I love guitar plugins. I love all plugins. Um, so we're going to start from scratch and start Let It Be. And we're going to go to Pro Tools and it's going to open up. Let's wait for it. And while this is loading up, let me go to Safari. So what I did was I Googled Let It Be Chords and I came up on this E chord site, which I don't remember what we used. So you can see the intro is C, G, A minor, F, C, G, F. And then what we're going to do is just these two verses here and up to here. So um, that's as far as we're going to go recording wise. But the cool thing is we're going to start with guitar. We're going to do some, an easy drummer loop just to get just to play to. We're going to choose our tempo and get our click track up and working. Uh, play some piano parts, do some vocals. So it'll kind of be the same exercise as the Major Tom thing, but hopefully a little more advanced because hopefully you guys made it through Major Tom and you've got your microphone and your MIDI keyboards working. So uh, let me get uh, to Pro Tools happening. Let me hide this, Command H. And there's Pro Tools that says, hey, what do you want to do? Do you want to create a new session? Do you want to open a recent session? No, we want to create a new session. I'm going to call it let it be G. And I've had a couple questions about sample rate and bit rate. Um, I'll just, uh, sample rate, if it, this is something really important, I'm probably going to work at higher sample rates, like 96 or something. It would be, I would, I don't even know what the average uh, studio, professional studio is using these days. You know, back in my day, it was uh, 48, 44.1. Um, and it's, it's not that discernible as far as sound goes when you're considering putting it down to an mp3 file it's really not that big a difference um, so I usually me I work at 48 because I do a lot of video stuff and video audio is at 48 so um, it's better than having to do it 44 one and then have to convert um, so I just if I'm doing just little projects that aren't important or just for fun or whatever I use 48 44 one is also great and um, if it's really important, if it's an album you're working on, you might want to go 96. So I'm going to stick to 48. And again, I, down here I say prompt for location and I say create. And it's going to open up the window that says, hey, this, this really confuses a lot of people, just to be sure. If you just see this, click on this arrow right here so you make sure you get all of your stuff. If you don't have an external hard drive, you want to go to the documents folder and make a new folder and call it uh, Pro Tools Tutorials. Um, so, but I have this hard drive called internal two gigabyte um, that I'm saving this on right now. And I already have a folder called Tutorial Sessions and then I'm gonna save this in there, let it be. So Pro Tools is booted up and we have to figure out what? What's our first important thing we have to do? We have to know the tempo. So we open up the transport window and you go to window over here and you tell it the transport and if you have the number keypad um, it's command one so here's our transport window you want to make sure that you have these MIDI controls showing and counters and MIDI and so the first thing you do is turn off the conductor we're gonna to get to that why the, the, the reason we turn off the conductor is so whatever's typed here is the rhythm that the song will follow Otherwise, we have to go over here and create a tempo up here. It's not that big a deal, but it's just a lot easier here. So we've got our metronome on right here in blue. And I'm going to click right here, and I'm going to hit the T key. And I'm just going to kind of hum or sing Let It Be along to, to get the, the tempo. So when I find myself in times of trouble, it's a little fast, isn't it? When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. Okay, 73 it looks like. But again, we can change it uh, if we have not recorded audio. So the next thing I'm going to do is create a click track. 
It's under the track menu or again command shift N, but that would create a brand new track where that gives you a MIDI track or audio track you have to choose. So you can just go into the track menu and say create click track. And I'm going to command equals to get to the uh, mix screen and I'm going to move this guy over a little bit. So here's the click right here and it's going to be on the default sound which is pretty terrible. So you can go through and again we did this earlier let's say I already have my shaker block let's find something else um, bells let's say oh god uh, dead triangle I like the same sound on all four you guys can can do what you want to do but I'm just choosing this uh, click sound dead triangle then I'm gonna save it so I have a preset of it and I don't have to do this again so I'll say save setting it's gonna come up and say hey what do you want to call it and I'm gonna call this dead triangle okay somebody's texting me so dead triangle and you'll see it's it's a, a preset I already have shaker I already have wood blocks those are other ones I saved I'm gonna, uh, so now we have and I'm gonna hit command s I've got my click track I've got my tempo I've got the song ready and now we're going to record an electric guitar part so um, let me command shift n for a new track and it's going to be mono, but we're going to use a stereo plug-in, and we say audio track. So now we have our click track set up. We've saved a preset for triangle, and we chose our tempo, and we just created a mono audio track so we can record the first guitar to. So make sure your input is set right here, and then make sure you have level, you know, go into record, make sure you have level, and then when I come back, we're going to get into some really cool electric guitar plugins. So, uh, with that said, let's get moving on.